It's time for another MT's video. Let's start. First, I've had this uh, soap hand wash, holy citrus wrath, wreath, I don't know. It was from last year's collection from Bath and Body Works. I like their soaps, but they last me for a very, a very long time. And what I hate about them is even when you take like the little booger at the end when you're done, it always creates a little booger because it dries and it's just, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm going Going to repurchase this to be honest because I always get dragged into kind of I think it's buy five or seven for twenty dollars I mean that's a really good deal but I mean I don't I like the smell but after my hands are super dry so I don't know I don't know what to do but for now I'm not going to repurchase this even though I liked it I think I'm gonna try something else but then again maybe I'll get sucked into that promotion once again this year after I'm going to talk about this, now this is almost full, I've used it maybe for two weeks and this is, was just not for me. It was sent to me by Garnier and it is the Anti-Shine Cleansing Joy Cleansing Gel, removes excess oil and there's charcoal in this and this is targeted for oily skin. Now I don't have oily skin, I have regular to mix skin, like sometimes oily, like maybe during the summer. I should not have used it because this is not targeted for my skin, but I figured, okay, well, I'm gonna try it. So I basically felt like my skin was like creating excess oil. Like I felt like a freaking McDonald's fry machine. Like I'm not even kidding. So I'm going to be giving this away to one of my friends, but uh, this was just a not meant for moi. So no. After, finally, it took me like, probably like years to get rid of this. This is the Eden Delore Argan Oil. And this was sent to me like, I'm not even joking, maybe like two years ago, one, over a year ago easily. And okay, I tried it like on the skin, it feels nice. And this came out about the same time where every company out there used to kind of release oils for your skin. And this was just like starting out. Um, this is fine, but what I use it for is basically mixing it with my body moisturizer before I go to bed. So it's extra rich, extra, mmm, extra feeling really, really, mmm. I like it. I'm not going to repurchase it because I have like maracuja oil, I have like nut oil, coconut oil. Not that kind of oil, girl. It was good, but there's other hydrating oils on the market. After it's a noldy but a goodie, and this looks actually like there's a lot left, but there's barely any left. This is the MAC Brow Gel. This is my brow gel of choice. Now, like I said, there's barely any left. Um, so yeah, this is my MAC Brow Gel. I always go back to it, mostly because, um, sorry, I'm not looking at you, mostly because it really, really makes my hair like stick. Like I like the hard kind of finish to my brows because I'm telling you like, they just go everywhere. So I really need kind of a hard finish to my brows. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I just, once again, I'm gonna say it, I hate the packaging. Cause it's just full on caca. Now a boring product for you uh, guys and uh, girls. Uh, this is the Clarins uh, Hydra Quench Cream, normal to dry skin. Now this I absolutely loved. Uh, it was sent to me once again because I went to a PR event. Uh, I think it was this summer or no. It was actually last spring, something like that, and uh, it's a beautiful moisturizer. It's It says normal to dry skin, but it, even during the daytime, I didn't feel my skin was overly hydrated. It was just perfect. It kind of leaves your skin kind of feeling fresh. There's no scent to it. There's a little bit of scent, but it's not like those kind of scents that are added to products, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of a natural scent. I love this. I'm probably going to be purchasing to be repurchasing this, um, but I need to finish my other moisturizers because like I said, I got too much, girl. Whew. Now another product that I'm really, really sad because there's none left, but I'm going to be buying this again. This is the Boscha. Boshka? Boscha. Boshkia? Boscha. Boscha? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the Luminizing Black Mask. Now they have like, I believe, a green one, a white one, a blue one. And of course, they have the black one. They just love every color on earth. But basically, this is a peel-off mask. Usually, well, I, when I first got it, I would apply it everywhere on the face, but I, after a while, I figured I should use it only where my main concerns are, which is my 
T-zone, so on the nose, a little bit on the cheeks, around the nose, and on the chin. And this is just a peel-off mask. Sometimes I would use it all over, but it's such a good product that I didn't want to waste it. Like, on my forehead, I barely have any problem areas there. So I figured, just use it wherever you want. But I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. And let me know, have you tried the other masks that they have? Because this is just amazing. I want it. This after a glam glow mask because you know the glam glow masks like make all your caca go out of your pores this after it just kind of seals the deal takes everything off after let's move on to an oldie but a goodie this is the peel and revealed uh revitalizing treatment from elizabeth arden this is my third time um, well, my third bottle, well, actually my second bottle, and I'm going to be repurchasing this, but th this is basically a peel-off mask. This will definitely give you a glow and moisturize your skin, but it will also exfoliate a little bit because um, the main ingredients are glycolic acids and some s and salicylic acid in it, but it's very, very kind of um, gentle. You, If you apply it too close to the eyes, you will feel a little like fume or a little burn, so make sure do not apply this near the eyes but it literally leave leaves your skin feeling so moisturized and plump and glowy you will not regret it I'm definitely recommending this to you I will be repurchasing this now I always get this uh, to um, at my nearest winners winners is basically a store similar to TJ Maxx in the States and because they changed the packaging this is the old packaging this is always on sale like 15 20 bucks max and yes this is amazing my last products are basically in the same category and these are candles from Bath and Body Works now this is trick or treat which is basically almost like a fireside but it smells a little bit more like vanilla in it I love this to death. Like I said, it's very close to Fireside, but to me it smells a little bit more vanilla-ish, if, if that makes any sense. And the other one is Apple, Farmstand Apple. And this is an amazing scent. If there's more at my store, I will definitely be repurchasing this. It smells literally like apples. Like when you purchase like a big bunch of apples to make like pie, it smells fresh tardy a little bit. Oh, I love it. I'm going to be repurchasing this for show. Sure. No, I won't throw these away on my bed because they might explode. So that is it. Yes, just a very small empties video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you guys very soon. Bye you a look not only inspired by uh, fall but by the one and only Jaclyn Hill she always wears those kind of warm browns and cranberry colors and every time I see them I'm like oh this is so Jaclyn girl so I decided to